In this lesson, we're going to learn how to solve a right triangle completely. I mean, so far, we've solved a right triangle for one angle or solve for one side. Um, in this one, in this video, we're going to solve the whole triangle, and also we're going to solve more advanced applications involving right triangles. So the first first example here says to solve the right triangle, and you have to be given if it's a right triangle. Um, you have to be given two more pieces of information. Because basically, in order to get all three sides and all three angles, you need three pieces of information total. So we know that angle A measures 28.9 degrees and side B is 4.6 inches. And we want to find all the missing pieces. So I'll start by labeling what I have. I know this is 28.9 degrees. I know that this side right here is 4.6 inches. Now the first thing I can find, since I know this is a right triangle, I know that the sum, since this is 90 degrees, the sum of A and B is 90. So I know from earlier lessons also that B is going to equal 90 minus the 28.9 degrees. So that equals 61.1 degrees. So I can label that. All right, now our job is to find A, side A, and side C. And we talked earlier that, you know, we use capital letters for the angles and lowercase letters for the sides. And so I need to use one of my trigonometric functions to, to solve this. So let's start by solving for A. I'm given side B and I was given 28.9. Now the 61.1 degrees, even though I'm allowed to use it, since that's a value that I found, I would prefer to use a value that was given to me just in case I, I made an error. So we're going to use the 28.9 and the 4.6 to find A. So what relationship would you set up if you had angle A and you had the side opposite and the side adjacent? We would be using tangent. So to find side A, we set up the equation the tangent of 28.9 degrees is equal to the opposite over the adjacent, so A over 4.6. If I multiply both sides by the 4.6, I get A is equal to 46, 4.6 times the tangent of 28.9 degrees. So we'll evaluate that in our calculator making sure that I am in degree mode. So we'll come down. It's really important that you double check your mode when we move back and forth. Now when we're dealing with triangles, generally we are in degree mode, um, but very often we're in radian mode also. So 4.6 times the tangent of 28.9 and we get we're asked to round lengths to two decimal places. So we've got A is approximately equal to 2.54. Now we've got one more piece of information to find, and that is C. So we know A is approximately equal to 2.54 inches. If I want to find C, again, I'd rather use, I can use any of the information that I have here. I can use side A and angle B, but since I was given the 4.6 and the 28.9 in the problem, then um, I'm going to use those values if I can. So if I want to find C, I've got side C, I'm going to use angle A and side B. I have the side adjacent and this would be the hypotenuse. So adjacent and hypotenuse, we should be thinking cosine. So the cosine of 28.9 degrees is equal to 4.6 over C. To multiply both sides by C, I get C times the cosine of 28.9 equals 4.6. I'm going to divide each side by the cosine of 28.9. C is equal to 4.6 divided by the cosine of 28.9. We'll evaluate that in our calculator. 4.6 divided by the cosine of 28.9. I'm still in degree mode. 
So my answer is approximately 5.25. So with C approximately equal to 5.25, we've solved the triangle, and we can we can check you know, we can check our work by adding up the three angles and making sure they add up to 180. And also we can since this is a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem just to see if our answer is reasonable by taking the 4.6 squared plus the 2.54 squared and then seeing if that's equal to 5.25 squared. So let's pull up the calculator and do that. Now 5.25 squared is equal to 27.5625. Let's take the 4.6 and square it and add it to the 2.54 square it. So I'm going to get some rounding error because I rounded my answers. So this seems reasonable to me that we've done the problem correctly. So at this point I'd like you to pause the video and solve the following triangle. Before you solve you want to draw, just draw a right triangle with angles A, B, C and corresponding sides and turn the video back on to check your work. Okay, I'm going to start off by drawing my triangle ABC. Fill in the pieces that I have. Angle A is 76.1 degrees. Side A measures 4.7. And we want to solve this triangle. We want to round lengths to two decimal places. And we can just round angles to the nearest, um, nearest tenth. So I'm going to start off by finding angle B. 90 minus the 76.1 degrees is equal to 13.9 degrees. So this angle right here would be 13.9 degrees. And this is not drawn to scale. You know that 13.9 degrees is a very small angle. All right, and now the next thing I want to do is either find side B or find side C. It really doesn't matter which one you use, but I do recommend using the given information to find them. So to find B, I have opposite over adjacent, so I know that the tangent of A equals 4.7 over B. I need to multiply both sides by B. The B's will cancel. And then I'll divide both sides by the tangent of 76.1. So B equals 4.7 divided by the tangent of 76.1. We'll evaluate that on the calculator, 4.7, again, still in degree mode, tangent of 76.1 degrees, and we're asked to round lengths to two decimal places again, so the length of side B is approximately 1.16. So B is approximately 1.16 inches. And now in order to find C, again, I want to use the 4.7 and the 76.1 because those were values that were given to me. And anytime I have to use a value that I found, um, there's a chance that there could be an error. So again, you're allowed to use them, but the best case scenario is to use val given values when you can. So if I have the relationship between angle A, the side opposite, and the hypotenuse, so that would be the sine. So know that the sine of 76.1 degrees is equal to 4.7 over the hypotenuse of C. Multiplying both sides of the equation by C and then dividing by the sine of 76.1 degrees, we get C is equal to 4.7 divided by the sine of 76.1 degrees. 4.7 divided by the sine of 76.1 it's approximately equal to 4.84 inches. So we were given the 76.1, the 4.7 and then the 90 degree angle and then we found the 4.84 we found the 
and the 1.6. So you're always going to be given three pieces of the triangle in order to find the other three.